So this is the Bavespa, and I just want to walk through some of these notes here. So back on 519, we were looking for one more pullback into this old cycle timing here. We had a bottom due 426 to 628. So we had entered into that timing, but what I was looking for is one more dip to then set up a likely nice buying opportunity for a sharp move up. What happened is that the bottom simply formed that week of March 3rd, and then we had already entered into a rising phase, which is why we have modified these cycles as such. If we look at the daily chart, you can see some really good clarity here. So we formed a positive cycle here in this cycle, and you can see that's why we have this green arrow. What I was looking for is one more rally attempt to then see an early high form and then to get into that minor uh, pullback to then set up the buying opportunity. What happened is the low formed, we got a rally, and then we just never really pulled back. We moved through this short term 78.6 and have now moved through that old high, which clearly says that a bottom had already formed. So you always want to have um, key markers to tell you when something has changed. And for us, it's getting through the 78.6 is our first real warning. And then moving through the prior cycle high tells you that clearly the money flow patterns have shifted. And it's up to you to take a deeper look to understand what's really going on. So what's going on at this point is that we are in a rising phase on the weekly time frame. We have a upside target of this 78.6 and the major 100 at 132.421 and 137.421. If we look at the daily chart, you can see what we're looking for on the upside. We are just blasting off on the upside. We have a short-term 100 at 132.286, but we are getting a little far from our slim ribbon. So we would look for a high to form relatively shortly and then to get a modest pullback that will likely set up a nice buying opportunity for another move back to the upside. Our next short-term low is due 622 to 72.